Building new housing to help those who need it, including the homeless. Soon a new project will start getting built, but we learn how one Watertown City Council member doesn't think the location is best. 7 News reporter Lexi Burning live tonight on Main Avenue in the city with more. Lexi. Jeff, this is the plot of land where a 63 unit apartment building will be located. Around it, other apartments, businesses and homes, and not everyone thinks this is the right site. You walk in at night, it's kind of scary, and now we're just bringing more to the neighborhood to worry about. This is Shirley Lewis's Main Avenue home near a 63 unit affordable housing project that's in the works. 31 of the apartments will have supportive services for the homeless and those with disabilities. Lewis is worried the project will make existing problems like trespassing and vandalism worse. Just last month we had a gentleman come through my aunt's slider door and was standing in front of her while she was sleeping in her chair. It's a concern council member Ben Schoen has raised before. He says the housing shouldn't come at the expense of the resident's safety and it should be placed in a more appropriate area, like near the public safety building. Over just a weekend we had 204 calls to police, so it's difficult to get to petty crimes, small crimes, stuff like bike thefts, vandalism, stuff like that, and those types of occurrences will increase when housing like that opens up in a residential area. Thrive Wellness and Recovery will provide the services at the low barrier apartments, meaning it won't require someone to engage in treatment or abstain from drugs and alcohol to keep their housing. Chief Operating Officer Maureen Keene says, if anything, the housing should make people feel more comfortable. I feel a lot more safer um, thinking that you know, a, a homeless person has a roof over their head, then wondering if they're going to be wandering through my yard or, um, you know, sleeping in an unlocked garage or a shed um, that they happen upon um, in a residential neighborhood. Council member Cliff only defends the location, walking distance to many city services. It's going to provide exactly one of the very critical pieces of the puzzle that we're looking to have put in place for there to be places for people that are homeless to go to. The project was awarded more than $13 million from the state. Keen hopes the project will break ground by the end of this month. Jeff. Lexi Bruning live tonight. Thank you.